This place is believed by many to be haunted. And a multitude of ghost activity has been reported here. This spirit could be a poltergeist in action. A movie theater was constructed on this property. Can you make this meter spike for me? My name is Nicholas. I am a young paranormal investigator in search of proof of the spirit world. I am also a person that can easily sense and feel spirit energy around me. And now, in this episode, I will be undertaking another solo mission, this time at a shopping center located in Comac, New York, that once housed a movie theater. During this investigation, I plan on studying and figuring out if the hauntings that occur here are indeed legit. This is a haunted legacy. In the town of Comac, Long Island, New York, there is a certain piece of land that dates back centuries and is believed to be a hot spot for supernatural activity. Now, I am on my way to the site in search of answers about the truth. However, the location I will be ghost hunting at is home to a corporation store, and I will be censoring out the store's name and logo for privacy rights. Alright, so this episode of A Haunted Legacy is unlike any other. Right now I'm here at this store and shopping center in Comac, New York. Now this isn't just any shopping center. This place is believed by many to be haunted. Why? Because some locals have said that Native American Indians settled on this land where the store now sits. And then in the 1980s, a movie theater was constructed on this property called the Comac Multiplex Cinemas and a multitude of ghost activity has been reported here. And then ultimately the store took its place right after the theater was demolished in 2013. But even though the Comac Cinemas is gone, the ghosts are still present on these grounds and a numerous amount of activity is still occurring here. For instance, I heard that someone recently paid a visit here and has witnessed with their own eyes a wagon cart ramming itself into one of the support beams down an aisle and even a tape measure being violently thrown across the store. So this spirit could be a poltergeist in action. So sadly my team couldn't make it for this mission. So now I'm going to do a solo mission here and I want to see if I can find these spirits and try to talk to them and get their attention. So I'm off. I began doing some instrumental transcommunication near the parking lot and store. I used my voice recorder and K2 meter in hopes of contacting the resident ghosts. Spirits of the Comac do I have your attention? Spirits of the Comac Multiplex Cinemas, are you still present here? Am I conjuring you now? I hope I am. Are you lingering around outside? Where are you? When the Comac Multiplex Cinemas was still standing, the ghost activity that happened frequently ranged from occurrences such as scratch marks both appearing and disappearing on the concession stand glass countertops. The workers of the theater attempted multiple times to clean and wipe off the scratches when noticed, but it never worked. Also, the doorknobs have turned on their own, as well as lockers being opened and closed while no one was around at the time. Lastly, Patrons of the theater claim to have witnessed black shadow figures passing in front of the screens in the screening rooms while the theater had dim lighting. One spirit that is believed by many to be present here is a female ghost. But some have said that a few of these other spirits may be very bad and evil. You want to make this meter spike for me? I ran through my first EVP session and no sounds were obtained through the white noise so far. So I walked in the same direction once more.
I then stepped back onto the parking lot and reapproached where I started. If there's a good spirit present here at this ground, can you make this meter spike for me? If there's an evil spirit present here, can you make this meter spike for me? If there's a good spirit present here, can you tap me on the shoulder? I'm ready for you whenever you are. If there's an evil spirit here, can you tap me on the shoulder? If there is an evil spirit here, all you can do is talk to me and that's it. You can make, give me a sign if you're here. You're not allowed to follow me home. All you can do is talk to me and that's it. With having no evidence captured outside, I felt the tendency to enter the store and continue investigating for the spirits. I now headed inside the store to finish my investigation. Once inside the store, I immediately tried to locate the exact same aisle where someone noticed a wagon cart hitting itself into a support beam. When I found it, I quickly used my equipment and did some more ITC and EVP sessions near the exact beam. So now I'm going to see if I can get anything in here. Are there any spirits from the Comax Cinemas that are plaguing this Are you a friendly spirit or are you something demonic? Please share that with me by making this thing spike. I'm going to leave this here and see if it does anything. I left my K2 meter in the bin for about two minutes and nothing was received. Let's see if I get anything else in here. Is there anyone here? So I moved on to another part of the store's interior. I then came across the area where somebody also witnessed a tape measure being knocked over or thrown on its own. A tape measure was resting on the desk and then it was thrown onto the floor right here. So. Nothing was occurring in this area either at the moment. I now wandered off further. I kept on doing fast EVP sessions in the store. So far I haven't captured any evidence yet inside this With too much noise contamination going on inside the store, I chose to do one last EVP session in a particular area. All right, so I'm gonna do one last area inside this Once there, I press the record button. Let's go. Okay, if there's any spirits here from the Comex Cinemas, make your presence known. I mean, you no harm. Just talk to me. So, sadly, the Comex Cinemas isn't here anymore, and this now took its place, but that doesn't mean that the ghosts are gone. So I'm trying to find them as hard as I can, and see if I can get them to do anything. So let me just go back outside. I exited the store. Now, right now that I'm outside, I do actually kind of feel something. It does feel a little bit ominous here when I walk around this land, so. And I ended my solo investigation at the shopping center in Comac, New York. All right, so I think we're done here at this But it was a fun investigation here and I think I felt something towards the end of my investigation. My solo investigation at the shopping center and store in Comac, New York was both simple and challenging. My goal was to naturally communicate with the resonant phantoms that are believed to have stayed on these grounds for centuries. When I was doing an EVP session on the grass and parking lot, I exerted a lot of my energy and concentration on aiming to obtain a spike on my K2 meter. However, when I entered the store to do a fast ghost hunt, my chances of capturing something became almost impossible. But I wanted to do it anyway for the spirits. The supernatural happenings that took place at the Comac Cinemas will stick with me permanently in my memories. Although my team couldn't experience searching at this place with me, I was more than happy to commit to this on my own. And if I ever plan on making a return here, I will endeavor much harder in hopes of possibly gaining a true piece of evidence to bring home.